Hello motorheads and car enthusiasts, welcome back to Drive Press. In today's video, we're going to explore a very new and upcoming technology in the electric vehicle industry, sodium ion batteries. You might remember sodium from the periodic table as a form of salt, but how can it fuel a car? Let's look at the potential for sodium ion batteries as a game-changing alternative in the electric vehicle industry. We'll also look at the surprising collaboration of two giants to make this dream happen, so let's get into it. And if you want to watch more videos like this, then subscribe to our channel and hit the notification button. What exactly are sodium ion batteries, and why are they gaining attention? Sodium ion batteries, like their lithium ion counterparts, store and release energy. However, sodium ion batteries utilize sodium as the main component instead of lithium, making them a safer and more cost-effective alternative. The architecture of sodium ion batteries is comparable to that of lithium ion equivalents, and the manufacturing process for both types of batteries may be similar. Both kinds of batteries produce energy as a byproduct of a chemical reaction and consist of a node, a cathode, a separator, and an electrolyte in their construction. The cathode has sodium ions rather than lithium ions throughout a sodium ion battery, and the electrolyte contains sodium salts rather than lithium salts. Additionally, lithium salts are exchanged for sodium salts throughout the battery. Although sodium ion batteries have been in use for many decades, large-scale research and development of the technology was discontinued in favor of lithium ion batteries. The technology is now being examined more closely. Lithium is undoubtedly valuable, but its extraction and purification process can be challenging and expensive. On the other hand, sodium, a chemical cousin of lithium, is abundantly available and significantly more affordable. The stark contrast in pricing becomes evident when comparing the cost of lithium carbonate, which reached over $80,000 per tonne, with sodium carbonate, priced at approximately $300 per tonne. This affordability makes sodium an attractive alternative for battery production, particularly in the context of electric vehicles. While sodium ion batteries are chemically similar to lithium ion batteries, they currently possess lower energy density. However, it's essential to note that battery technology evolves rapidly. Just as lithium ion phosphate (LFP) batteries overcame their initial limitations, sodium ion batteries are expected to undergo significant improvements. In fact, today's sodium batteries already offer distinct advantages over their lithium counterparts, such as improved performance in low temperatures and enhanced charge-slash-discharge cycle durability. BYD plays an important role in the development of these new batteries. You may know them as automakers globally. However, BYD isn't just about manufacturing electric vehicles. They're also one of the top battery producers in the world. Unlike Tesla, BYD focuses on building EVs and pushing the boundaries of battery technology. While lithium-ion cells remain the industry standard for electric vehicles, manufacturers like BYD are investing millions of dollars in researching and developing alternative chemistries and designs that can take us further and charge us up more quickly. Leading battery manufacturers like CATL and BYD are considering a hybrid approach to address the energy density challenge. They are developing EV battery packs that combine both both lithium ion and sodium ion cells. By incorporating sodium cells to improve low temperature performance and lithium cells for daily driving, this hybrid solution aims to provide the best of both worlds. Excitingly, CATL's sodium ion batteries are set to power the upcoming Sherry iCar, while BYD plans to introduce sodium ion batteries in the second half of this year. So why are we talking about sodium ion batteries now? Well, because BYD, in collaboration with Huaipa Holding Group, has set its sights on becoming the world's largest supplier of sodium ion batteries for small electric vehicles. Just recently, FinDreams, the battery unit of BYD, announced a strategic agreement with Huihua Holding Group to establish a joint venture for sodium ion batteries. The joint venture will include a production base in Xuchao Economic and Technological Development Zone in China's Jiangsu Province. This partnership is a significant step towards advancing sodium ion battery technology and providing a sustainable and economical solution for small electric vehicles. FinDreams will contribute its battery products and services, while Huihua will leverage its expertise in sales and marketing, particularly in the small vehicle segment. Together, BYD and Huihua aim to revolutionize the market by becoming the leading supplier of sodium ion battery systems for micro vehicles. Sodium ion batteries may have a lower energy density, but their chemistry makes them ideal for smaller electric vehicles prioritizing daily mobility over an extended range. 
Huihua Holding Group predicts the increased production of sodium ion batteries will match the growing demand for mini vehicle batteries, not only in China but potentially in Europe as well. With its rising interest in smaller, more affordable EVs, Europe could be an attractive market for sodium ion battery powered vehicles. While we don't have specifics yet on the energy density of BYD's sodium ion batteries or the exact EV model they will be used in, one thing is clear. BYD is committed to mass production and aims to lead the pack in sodium ion battery technology. Their dedication and confidence in this chemistry mark an exciting turning point for the automotive industry. CATL's M3P technology is closer to manufacturing than sodium ion technology. However, the firm has been quite secretive about it and the only thing they've said about it is that it's comparable to LFP. However, Chinese technology spies argue that the chemical structure is comparable, except that iron has been substituted by three other metals, magnesium, zinc, and aluminium. It is anticipated that this configuration makes it possible for the batteries to function at higher voltages, enabling them to reach an energy density of 15-20% to greater than that of LFP, at a cost that is expected to be comparable to that of LFP. According to what we have been told, the possible drawback to this situation is the life cycle. Professionals that are knowledgeable about the technology suggest that this particular chemical should neither be discharged at extremely high rates nor allowed to fall below 10% of its charge. This factor may disqualify them for usage in high-performance electric vehicles, but it may make them ideal for applications like Tesla's Semi. China has emerged as a dominant force in the battery industry, with the majority of planned sodium ion battery factories located within its borders. While this positions China favorably, it also highlights an interesting challenge. China's control over lithium sources contrasts with its limited access to the soda ash required for sodium battery production. Currently, the United States possesses over 90% of the world's soda ash reserves, presenting an opportunity for America to foster a sodium ion battery industry and reduce reliance on China. According to Benchmark Minerals, a consulting group, 16 of the 20 sodium battery plants that are now being planned or are already under construction throughout the globe are in China. Within the next two years, China will be able to produce sodium batteries equal to roughly 95% of the global total. According to Benchmark's predictions, lithium battery manufacturing will still much exceed that of sodium batteries at that time. Nevertheless, advancements in sodium are picking up speed. When it comes to the production of sodium batteries, China does, however, face one significant challenge. It has very limited access to the soda ash that is the main supplier of the sodium required for the production of batteries while controlling a significant portion of the world's lithium reserve. Over 90% of the world's soda ash deposits that can be easily extracted are located in the United States. The New York Times reports that buried under the desert in the southwestern corner of Wyoming lies a massive deposit of soda ash that was produced some 50 million years ago. It has been mined for generations to satisfy the requirements of the glass production sector in the United States. Instead of relying on its meager natural stocks of soda ash or imports from the United States, China creates synthetic soda ash in chemical facilities that are powered by coal. This is because natural soda ash deposits are very limited. Yes, you did hear that correctly. Coal will be China's primary energy source for its sodium iron industry. We solemnly affirm that we are not making any of this up. The fall of a mound of alkali slag in east-central China in 2016 that swept away automobiles and clogged a major river is just one example of China's synthetic soda ash industry's history of hazardous water pollution. As if that wasn't awful enough, China's synthetic soda ash business has a record of hazardous water pollution. The nation's Environmental Protection Agency is trying to improve the industry's environmental footprint. When it comes to using cutting-edge technologies, utility firms are typically risk-averse. They are more interested in tried and proven solutions that have been around for a long time. According to The Times, the business world is interested in learning more about the endurance of sodium ion batteries, such as how well they operate after years of use outside rather than only in laboratories. This is according to David Fishman, a power sector expert with Lantau Group a consultancy company. However, Fishman and others are now paying special attention to the development of sodium batteries. The need for batteries is rapidly increasing, and it's doubtful that lithium will continue to be the predominant material for an endless amount of time. 
While sodium ion batteries may not be the ideal solution for electric vehicles due to their lower energy density, they hold an immense promise for grid-scale battery storage. The increased space requirements for sodium batteries can be accommodated in utility-scale installations, allowing for flexible deployment near solar panels or wind turbines. This advantage positions sodium ion batteries as an excellent choice for grid-scale energy storage, enabling efficient utilization of renewable energy sources. As with any emerging technology, sodium ion batteries face skepticism and cautious adoption from established industries. Utility companies in particular are eager to understand the long-term durability of sodium ion batteries in real-world conditions. However, sodium ion technology is gaining traction with the growing demand for batteries and the need for sustainable alternatives to lithium. The future of energy storage is evolving, and sodium ion batteries may play a pivotal role in the years to come. Imagine a future where safer and more abundant sodium ion batteries power smaller, cheaper electric vehicles. Such a transformation could make electric mobility even more accessible to a wider range of consumers worldwide. Sodium ion batteries offer a compelling alternative to lithium ion batteries in the automotive industry. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss an update on the latest advancements in the automotive world. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and share your thoughts in the comments section below.